We are back again for another Bleach Saturday. It is going to be an amazing episode because we have the goats returning. If you saw from the last episode, if you saw the spoilers, Aizen is coming back. And I just hope that they do his return with absolute full justice. Now, I know I might be excited about Rurika, but she might be in the next episode. But we have two characters returning in this one. And I'm glad that, you know, Rurika doesn't steal the spotlight from them. With that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to get into this reaction. If you want to see more reactions in the future, you got to hit that subscribe. With that being said, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, starting off right off the bat with the blackness coming down. Now, before it was just... That's a cool contrast. Not straight in the middle, Yuha. Your aim is absolutely abysmal. Okay, so fun right off the bat. Showing speed. Bankai. She didn't say Bankai. Interesting. Just, I, I, look, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just seeing. But that's good. Um, she didn't really stand much of a chance. But uh, this is what I wanted. I wanted more... Still, still frames? I don't want to complain. I don't want to complain. Let's let's see the context of the episode. We're getting a lot more though. Whoa! They bite. The little fuckers bite. Okay. The boy is going straight in with some shikos. Hey, nice one, Shuhei. Simbon Zakra is coming out. Okay. Are we gonna get to see more? Oh, it's been overpowered. You might have to go Bankai on this one, Biakia. Surely, right? Oh. Here's the spiritual pressure. Damn, poor Soifon, though. She got absolutely raped. <gasps> True. Damn. The GOAT! Okay, so it wasn't Black Coffin, it was pure spiritual pressure. Okay, obviously I'm going to watch the opening, I love it, but obviously for the stream, it's going to go off because copyright. Still frames at the start, don't know how I feel about that, maybe a Blu-ray fix, don't know, but depending on the context of the episode, if it's very high level animation going on, then maybe there's a justification. So if I'm not saying Bankai, bit strange, I think, maybe? Just, just off the, like, the, the top of my head, it feels a bit strange. Um, yeah, she got diffed. Nice silly lieutenants get involved. Byaki get involved. So, uh, it was a little bit more than the manga. So, that, um, I, I think it was a bit more fearful. Adding the, 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 the teeth, too, was a nice. I don't think that was in the manga, so that was nice. Sashibori Rukia Kuchiki. Love that. Congrats on your promotion. He, his face doesn't seem cocky, though, so maybe it's genuine. <laughs> his sentence was lifted. <laughs> What a good troll. Good, good so fun player, sir. Is it about defending your own honor? Well, let me tell you something about the court guard squads. Honor won't help us protect this world. He is spitting. I, I don't recall if this was in the manga, but he's spitting. I wonder if Byaki will say his line. Because if not, I think it works well on its own. I just figured you're not that kind of guy. Oh, there's more coming. Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, spiritual pressure diff, I fear. Did he place him there specifically on purpose? Knowing that, like, he's right under the hole. Huh? Oh, shit. Yo. Still frames? Okay, this gotta go hard. Black coffin. Okay. Ah, there we go. So he does it inside the lab. It is an insult to all of it. Yeah, but okay. So both, I think, I think having both dialogues was great. To be honest, it, it really hit the point. That man cleared the whole area. Nice. <laughs> this chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite the chair. Chair, Summer. You don't mess with the chair, man. Damn, the flex is crazy. It's nice to see so fun having some screen time. Apparently, it sense a change in Yuha's spiritual pressure. 
Uh, so the eyes are just spilling out of like over excess reishi until Yuha can contain it, essentially. Ah, <laughs> that's a goated face. The goated manga. Oh, jeez! Mm. I like the electricity effect. Can only explain it to a certain degree. Eyes and all that face of like, really, really, bro. Come on. I feel like the black coffin and your spiritual pressure has been done well so far. I feel like something's lacking, and I don't know exactly what it is. But I feel like this isn't the end. Oh, uh, it would be humiliating for me to see you do such a thing. Yeah, because you'd be insulting my man's technology. So, like, yeah, it'd be a flex, but Mayuri's confidence. <laughs> the flex offs. Morphine? No, 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 no. Definitely because of the suit. Oh, shit. That was a nice sound effect. I love that. To be fair, we, we sleep on the Nanana. He put Aizen down for a good five minutes. That's impressive. Zombies? Oh no, Giselle. <sighs> this character, man. This fucking character. The Toso, just bite her head off. Please. Do us all a favor. Bye bye. Yep. Yeeted. Deleted. <laughs> get fucked. So, uh, are we gonna get another death photo from Kubo now? These are some nice drawings, man. I see his fire we won't get in your way. We'll let the other summer as either. The Toto goated? God, you always charge his ass face. Hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. But why is Giselle... Giselle, I know you don't give a fuck, so... I know Latoto and Baz do, but Giselle, no. Nah. No. Nah. Giselle's just there for the ride, isn't it? <gasps> the GOAT! He's back! Who's that man's? Whose man's is this? There's still squadrons left? It's a no escape! <laughs> <laughs> Kumadani, let's go! <laughs> Tempsi! Oh god, the goat made it. Hey! Hey, him from Squad 6, he made it too! Hey, shout out to that! Is this the amplifier? Hey, Shino made it too! Hey, this is nice! I'm glad that we're getting more like side, 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 side characters getting more screen time. That's great. Feels like a war, right? Besides from the main cast. Akon as well. Akon's getting screen time. Good. Why is Mayuri looking like that? What's this? Well, this is different. This is definitely new content. Not the CG... Oh, I thought there were zombies for a second. No, that's just CGI. This is nice, though. Wait, are we disregarding the amplifi... No, of course. That's way too early. Captain Zaraki's back. Let's go. Still no word on Yatru. He knows, man. What is that now pissed off at him for? Damn. She's brave. Damn. She didn't expect that. This is a very weird thing from uh, Kuratsuchi. It's definitely different, so that's good. This definitely uh, is a great change. Maybe we don't need the amplifier anymore because we've got all the squadrons. Maybe that was Kubo's workaround to not draw in as many, you know, sorry pus. Nah, it's that guy from Squad 4 too. I forgot his name, the blonde Donny. Hey, it's nice to see these people show up, you know? <sighs> Ikitake, man. Mashida, wait, pause. I need to go back. Hold on, Mash. Wait, what? Maki Maki. A Mashiro. Mashiro came in clutch. Let's go. Love that. Okay. Now, this is good. This is great content. Love that. Visards? Where? Hello? Are we just like, okay, so we probably have a different purpose for them. Uh, there they are. 
Sheesh! Hiyori, Lisa, Hachi. Let's go. This is great. This feels like a, a revolution, right? Because <laughs> it's spiritual pressure, right? The substance formed between the precipice. Yeah, okay. It's the source of energy we need. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Good callback from uh, season one. Because you're part of the, the crew now, right? This is the new Soul Society. You have to start fighting because. Oh, shit, Eisen's back. Who would that is? Yeah, I'd have killed you ages ago. <laughs> What's with the trolling, Eisen? Come on. Come on. That's impressive. Right. To be fair, na 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 na. He did bits. Put him in the fucking. Put him in the gates! Okay, so the, the barrier is definitely broken. Yo, these shots on Ukitaki is a bit mad. <laughs> I love that they're giving my man screen time, but now? Uh, right, let's get this. So we don't need the amplification, right? I mean, they're not holding the soul orbs either. Oh, is it just like... Are you gonna let me move? <laughs> so they're not holding the spirit orbs? I guess they don't, right? But they were they were showing it in the opening, so surely they're gonna be holding them, right? Ah oh, yes, Aizen's salty as fuck about Ichigo. He's alive! Ichigo's alive! By Ohima, who would have thought? <laughs> Precious, adorable. Oh, it probably took a lot out of her actually. That's some good lore! Okay, for people that don't know, the more that Orihime heals, the hungrier she gets. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bit of lore from the f one of the first uh, Honey Dish Rhapsody light novels. I'm so glad that this was implemented. This is fantastic. Good attention to detail here, Mitsu. Good attention to detail. Here, Matsu, sorry. Con? Wait, what? What? Big con? <laughs> I love that. This is great. Great episode, man. I love this. This is my heart. Jesus, nice shot, sir. Nah, really? We need to okay. Please don't injure, please. Oh, this is, um... Oh my god. Hikifune's place. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Pause. Wait. Grimjow? Grimjow fucking Jagger Jack, son. Good as I get. Yeah. Nah. Of course, of course, of course, of course, man. That is an awesome way to end the episode. Do we have more? We might have more. We might have more. Okay, we do have more. Okay, what's next? We're back at the Soul Palace. Are we gonna... Uh, you're asking Shook. Let's take in every last bit of the Soul King. The Soul King is gone now. Wait. Is that the Soul Society? Oh, okay. He's, he's reforming a new world now. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, cool. Whose poem's that? Whose sword's that? Wabisuke? Oh, that's Grimjow. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Holy Newborn. Righty, oh, everybody. What an episode. That's a, okay, so to give you my quick thoughts on this as a whole, um, very interesting because it, 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 it was mainly, it, in a way, it was like a build up episode, right? Where like shit after shit after shit has been happening, escalation after escalation, right? And now we're getting to that part of like, what do we do? 
right? Where do we go from here? And it is basically the, not the turning point, but it's like, okay, well, we need to introduce some characters. We need to kind of get our foundations together. And this is where we are now at a point where like the Soul Reapers don't, I think it's a great episode because we're not, yeah, we're relying on Aizen to a certain extent. And obviously with Grim Jail coming back, massive poggers, right? But also, the Soul Reapers need to do their part as well, because through a lot of the time in the manga, it has essentially been the main 10 cast and, like, Ichigo, right? So, what this episode has done, essentially, is they've gotten everyone involved, you know? And I felt like that was such a great improvement compared to the manga, where everyone was kind of stuck in the laboratory, you had the remaining captains hold the orbs, and then... They use Mayuri's amplification, spirit pressure amplification. Now, I'm not going to say that that still won't be the case. It's quite possible that that is still going to be the case because, again, we saw the spirit orbs within the opening. So, again, plausible. But the way it's been handled and the different direction and the different um, placement of where they'll be standing as well uh, is clearly a lot better. The laboratory is destroyed, so this is a lot better of a decision. Bringing Compachi back the way that they did, bringing back the Visors the way that they did, giving even the smallest cast members just that inkling of screen time was awesome. Kirihitsugi in new anime form looked immaculate. Although I, I did wonder this in the manga as well. Why did he do Black Coffin for when there's nothing inside the Black Coffin to begin with? Unless it was just to clear the area in general. Again, I've always felt a struggle with why, but I mean, I don't really care because it looks fucking cool anyway, right? And then, of course, the spiritual pressure going to shoot down the, the, the Soul Palace was really cool too. And the banter between Kisuke Uhara and Aizen and Aizen and Kyoriko and Aizen and Mayuri. I loved that banter and I felt like the talk and discussion with Kyoraku and Byaki was great too, and also Kyoraku to the rest of the Soul Reapers. So I found had some great moments in there as well. Of course, with the black orbs as well, having teeth, I felt like that was manga exclusive as well. The only issue I had, which obviously was very notable within the reaction, is certain still frames, which, do you know what? They're not bad. They, they, they lasted a little bit longer, maybe like why one or two seconds longer than I would have liked to, but it didn't take away from my experience. I felt like they did a fantastic job job with this and to be honest they'll probably be fixed within the blu-ray and even if it doesn't um it's not a big deal anyway i feel like you have to somewhat cut some corners to some degree to get to the result that we got and i felt like you know the drawings were fantastic the animation for for aizen was fantastic um uh, so overall fantastic fucking episode so tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below oh my god we are going to get ruruka if we had Aizen and Grimjar and Rook in one episode, that would have been too peak. It would have been, it just would have been too peak. But next episode, I'm glad because we're going to get screen time for two amazing girls. For two amazing girls. And hopefully, you know, if you're an anime only, right, uh, I will talk about them within my spoilers video rather than this video just in case. But two amazing girls are coming back. I'm so ready for it. We're so fucking back. I'm going to catch you motherfuckers out. You guys, of course, have these five David Hansen. As always, people. Peace out.